Hi, I'm Joe Keating, Senior Director of Applications Engineering for Infinite Power Solutions. We're a Denver, Colorado-based manufacturer of Thinergy Microenergy Cells, which are thin film, solid state, rechargeable batteries. In this video, I'm going to talk about methods for recharging our MECs using wireless energy harvesting or intentionally radiated wireless charge methods. Um, I'm going to demonstrate our uh, kit, which is our EHM, which stands for Energy Harvesting Module, EHM NFC, and the NFC stands for Near Field Communications. Now you may recognize this device. This is a USB powered uh, card reader. So this is a 13.5 uh, megahertz tap and go type reader. So uh, if you're doing, say, um, you know, wireless transactions with a credit card, some of those tap and go type transactions, this is the type of reader that's used. Um, it can be connected to a point of sale terminal or a computer or a phone or there's lots of different ways to make these things work. But the, the uh, point is, is that it uses a fairly strong 1356 megahertz wireless field to create near field transactions. But let's say that you wanted to create a credit card or powered card that had a battery inside it. Why would you want to do that? Well, one reason might be to put a small display and say a fingerprint sensor, which would create a very secure credit card for uh, very secure transactions or, or highly secure uh, credit transactions. So all I have to do inside my card is put in an antenna. This one happens to be a printed antenna, so it uses a silver type ink that's been printed inside the card. It's extremely inexpensive. I mean, costs maybe a penny to manufacture one of these things. Um, and then I have the standard uh, near field uh, reader that can be used in, in these types of near field transactions. So if you had the small passive chip in there, well, why would you want to do that? Well, if you had a battery inside your card, well, how would you recharge the battery? Well, in this case, if we put one of our MECs in the card, I can recharge it by bringing it into the near field um, uh, wireless reader field that's generated by this device. And then what I can do is connect that to our application development platform. Now, our ADP kit will allow me to see the energy that I'm receiving here on my near field card and then see how much energy I'm getting out to my micro energy cell. So what you'll see is, is that you can actually get quite a bit of energy out of this. So I'm set up right now um, so that I can data log the information on my laptop. I'm going to take my uh, wireless card reader and I'm going to plug it into um, my uh, <coughs> excuse me into my ADP kit to the energy harvesting header. So I put this into the AC port because this is an alternating current or AC signal. And um, now I'm going to put it into pass-through mode so that the energy that's received by the card goes directly into my MEC. So right now I see that I've got a low voltage you know, on my MEC, meaning that it's almost fully discharged. So as I take the card and I move it into the field, I get a higher and higher amount of uh, charge energy. And I can see here I'm getting 4.8, 4.9, 4.1 volts, 2 milliamps of charge current into my MEC. So let's say, for example, that I had a wireless transmitter in my card, like Bluetooth Low Energy. Just a short period of time in this field, as long as it takes to make a transaction, I can put enough energy on my MEC to do anywhere from 10 to hundreds of wireless transactions using a low power protocol such as BLE or Zigbee or Ant or similar types of uh, low power wireless transmission um, uh, uh, sensor protocols. Now, that's, that's very valuable because you don't want to keep your user in the field for a long period of time, but what it demonstrates is, is that you can harvest a great deal of energy very rapidly from just a short period of time in this field. So as a user normally uses their card through the day to conduct normal wireless transactions, um, we're also charging the battery, which will enable a much more secure type of card. So anyway, so that's an example of near-field wireless harvesting. Another example of, of energy harvesting that can be done is from a company uh, provided by a company known as Powercast Corporation. And they've provided this module, which connects to our ADP kit, and allows you to harvest energy from an intentionally radiated source at around 900 megahertz. So this header cable that's on this board allows me to take the card and plug it into my ADP energy harvesting header. And now um, this module up here is the intentional radiator or transmitter. So when I turn this on just by plugging it in, right now it is transmitting power to, um, uh, to the ADP kit. And you can see actually I'm getting very high amounts of energy right here. I'm getting about 2 milliamps at this proximity, which is, is, is very close. Obviously, 
for intentionally radiated uh, wireless energy, you probably wouldn't be this close. But the, the deal with the PowerCast is different than the NFC because this is actually far field. So you saw with the radiated um, signal from the near field reader, I had to get within you know maybe an inch, a couple of centimeters or so from the transmitter in order to harvest energy. But in this case, I can actually move fairly great distances away. And with PowerCast, you can get to distances up to um, you know, 40, 50 feet and still be able to harvest meaningful amounts of energy. Now, um, that is very valuable for situations where you might have wireless sensors out there, say like in a warehouse, where you wanted to have permanently powered wireless sensors that um, are harvesting energy uh, or, or can be recharged from energy that you provide intentionally into the environment. Warehouses have no energy in them. They're usually very dark, dim areas without any thermal gradients, without any motion. There's no light, no heat, no, no temperature. So harvesting energy in a warehouse is very difficult. But what it will allow you to do is to create a, uh, um, a tag. You know, so let's say you have a warehouse full of high value assets such as flat panel televisions or something like that. And you want to make sure that those assets aren't moved or damaged while they're in the warehouse. Well, you could put a wireless sensor on there that would operate off of a motion detector um, that if the product is ever moved, it would begin to transmit. Um, to recharge the battery in that system, because you don't want to run around having to change the batteries in those tags all day long, you can take uh, a system like PowerCast, put it into your warehouse, and then intentionally radiate the energy out to charge up those tags. And you don't have to do it very often. You can say do it in the evenings for an hour a day or something like that, because obviously your, your assets are probably not moving around very often but um, you, you can get energy to them in a warehouse or other place where you can't easily find a source of ambient energy to harvest. Um, if you're using solar or other, other forms like that, it's, very e it's fairly easy to create energy harvesting to uh, power autonomous tags or autonomously powered tags. But like I said, in a warehouse it can be very difficult. There's other places like inside closets, inside cabinets, things like that, where intentional radiation of uh, recharge energy can be extremely valuable. But either way, you can see that I'm able to take the energy from these wireless sources and store them very easily in our uh, microenergy cells, and then also be able to data log the data using the ADP kit. One other interesting thing about the PowerCast technology is it will also work in an NFC environment. If, if I turn the transmitter off, I have this card that they, they make, and this card has a blinking light on it that shows energy that is captured by this antenna here on the, uh, on the printed circuit board. So my radiator is transmitting the power, and it's captured, and then it's stored on the Finergy microenergy cell. So this would be an example of a circuit or system that you could use in a powered card or a wireless sensor tag type environment. Well, if I turn off my transmitter, whoops, and then I drop it, um, if I turn off my transmitter, <laughs> um, now probably we'll, we'll be off for quite a while, and I use my cell phone to make a phone call, what I'll find is, is that my cell phone will drop, will jump onto a frequency that will uh, allow um, the PowerCast system to harvest energy. So here I'm calling my desk right now, and what's happening is it's transmitting the power from my phone. Whoops, my phone decided to end the phone call on its own. So if I start calling my desk right now, the f energy from my phone can then be harvested to recharge the MEC. Now that could be useful for situations where you could have a powered card in your wallet and you want to use the energy from your phone, say while you're talking on your phone, to recharge the card. So right now it's calling my office phone and the light is blinking occasionally, indicating that I'm harvesting energy from my phone directly into the MEC. So those are a few techniques for wireless energy harvesting. If you'd like to know more, go on out to our website at www.infinitepowersolutions.com. Thanks very much.